Hey all, welcome to Slay the Spire. Today we're playing the daily challenge for October 23rd, 2019. The character is the Ironclad, and the modifiers are Heirloom, start with one rare relic. Colorless cards, colorless cards and appearing rewards. And Lethality, you start each combo with plus three strength, and all enemies start each combo with plus three strength as well. Get started. So Heirloom, Lethality, and colorless cards. We got Tori from Heirloom. Uh, whenever you do receive five or less unblocked attack damage, re reduce it to one. That's fine. Nothing amazing. Nothing bad. It's it's pretty neutral. All right. So there's a two lead path. Only one two lead path on the left. Right. So yeah, we do want to take it with the Iron Cloud. Obviously, want to get as many question marks and thus elites. Uh, not elites. Uh, curses as possible. There's also a shop here that we can take as well as another two question marks on the board. So yep. Okay, and then with Lethality, you want to pick up as many sort of small, cheap attacks as possible. So Anger will be one card that I'll look for. And then pretty much... Uh, you know what? Let me defend here. Can I kill? No. Let's defend here. That way we only take one damage. But yeah, Anger and then any multi-hit attacks like Pummels or Boomerang. Those are things I want to pick up. Um, Armaments, Havoc, or True Grid. Let me also see who the final boss is. Okay. Still going to be tough, but... Um, probably Armaments, uh, safe defensive card. Especially for the beginning, especially if it's the first card offered. Alright, let's kill you. And then defend a little bit. Fortunately, we're receiving 6 damage, so Tori is not as useful. Um, you know what? Let me Armaments. I don't want to take too much more damage. Okay. Should be able to kill without the bash. Yeah, because this, uh, this enemy attacks twice and then stops attacking, and we should be able to kill here. Panic button. Well, that's that's a personal favorite. Anger, although I just mentioned that anger would be good, right? The panic button would help perfecting elites, especially on this floor, since a lot of the elites have a pattern where... Uh, well, I guess Black Woolen has a pattern where it doesn't attack. Um, I mean, panic button is rare. I do want to take it. It is just too powerful to just give up. Alright, early shop. Um, so Flash of Steel is going to be amazing with the extra strength with zero cost uh, attack. Wind Strike would also be great. Unfortunately, we can't afford both, and I would like a block potion. We do have another shop upcoming. Uh, Alright, you know what? Let me take the block potion. That might help against an elite, and then I think I'll take Twin Strike, and... Ooh, I just have enough gold for an uppercut. Mm, no, I think we should really focus on small, uh, low-cost attacks rather than high-cost attacks. And here, unfortunately, we can't afford anything. Uh, there's a Mind Blast here, but I don't think I would have gone for it. I don't think this deck will become as large to make the Mind Blast really good. I mean, obviously, if I had the gold, I would probably get it. I'm just being, uh, you know, being very uh, arrogant, saying that I wouldn't even get it if I could. But I probably would. Um, all right, let's continue on. Um, okay, so the enemy is very likely not going to attack next turn. Uh, and so I think, although, wait, hang on, we can, yeah, I think we can just defend fully here. Or not fully, we'll lose one HP, which is, it. yeah, he was attacking this turn, so good decision there. Uh, will this kill, actually? Let me see. Yep, it does. Perfect. We got a, uh, weakness potion, as well as, I think I'll go with Shragadov. It's a little too early for corruption, um, and we don't have enough defense for body slam, so Shragadov is a very good defensive card. Okay. Lots of things to upgrade. Probably going to start with the armaments first. And then probably Bash is going to be the next upgrade. Alright, so this might be a little hard uh, for the um, panic button. Although I might end up using it somehow. So we have a block potion. Let's see. Um, let's do... Hmm. Okay, so I think we'll do Bash. And Twin Strike. So we have a reasonable chance of uh, killing the frontliner next turn, in which case the panic button would allow us to fully defend. Um, okay, this is not ideal, but this would give us. I think this upgrades to 12 block, right? 12 plus 7 is uh, not enough to uh, to defend fully. Unfortunately, we don't have any other defense unless I somehow magically draw the uh, panic button. It's very unlikely. Yes, very unlikely. Too bad. All right, so we couldn't have per uh, perfected even if I um, upgraded the. Uh, yeah, yeah, because I needed to kill the frontliner. It's fine, it's fine. We'll take some damage here. It's too bad that I just wasted a potion, though. Alright, so here we can actually fully defend. No need to use the panic button just yet. Okay. And here we can upgrade everything. Shrug it off. Strike. 
Okay. At least all of our cards upgraded, but I think we have a lot of these in the deck now. Yeah. Not enough defense, unfortunately. Okay. We will take a 12 damage head on. Then, wow, another 12. I should have probably, that was a smart, I attacked the front, uh, the midliner uh, two turns ago. I should have attacked the backliner. Because then I could have killed last turn and avoided taking 12 damage. Yeah, these are sort of the small, it's not even mistakes, right? They're just small things that I could do to do a little, you know, to, to do a little better, yeah. Okay. Card I want to play, but we got Unseizing Top. Whenever you have no cards in hand, you can return, draw a card. That's very interesting. I don't think it's going to be super useful just yet, especially once we pick up curses. So here, Thunderclap would be great, uh, but so would be Deep Breath. I think Thunderclap is better, though. Some nice AoE, uh, which we currently don't have. And the availability, obviously. All right, let's do Armaments, um, Thunderclap, and Defend. Okay. Another 13. Plug it off. Defend. I'm trying to preserve some HP, and we should be able to kill it relatively easily. Yeah, especially with the extra strength. All right, we got a Liquid Bronze. Ooh, an Early Apotheosis. I mean, we currently have the armaments, which is kind of enough. I think Sword Boomerang might be better in this position. Deep Breath is not bad either. Yeah, I think I'm going to skip on the Apotheosis just because we have the uh, upgraded armaments already. Mummified Hand, when you play a power card, a random card in your hand costs zero that turn. So now we obviously want to pick a few power cards. Okay, so here, is there anything I want to wait for? Actually, I wouldn't mind getting at least one round of armaments, so upgrading all the cards. See if I can draw it. Alright. Okay. So then next turn, I think we can start attacking. Oof. You know what? I'll wait for the turn after this. This is not the best turn. I think this turn, I'll have the Thunderclap, Warpumarang, Strike. Yep, I think that was much better. Now we just need to draw the Panic Button. Um, there's no way we can defend here, right? I guess I could throw a Weakness Potion. Yeah, let's throw the Weakness Potion. And fully defend here. Okay. Alright, uh, 15. Yeah, I think this is where we stop being able to fully defend. So, I'll do Armaments and Defend to just take one damage thanks to the top, but yeah, we have to start worrying about actually dealing damage. That was unfortunate. I mean, with the Lethality modifier, it's very hard to actually perfect... Um, a lot of elites. So we got a little unlucky with our um, panic button draw. Alright. Still here. Okay. Just lost one HP, I think, right? Yeah. That smiling mask, the merchant's card removal service, now always costs 50 gold. Uh, I mean, spot weakness would make this a strength deck, but I'm thinking good instincts because we have unseasoned top. Yeah, I think we need some more defense. Alright, so Thundercloud, Defend, and Strike. Okay. I mean, uh, Tori is saving us a lot of damage. I should I should point that out. For boomerang, and then um, I'll do. Yeah, I'll do panic button. That avoids taking, uh, us taking any damage, and we should be able to deal 12 damage next turn. Yep. Uh, heavy blade, flame bearer, clothesline. I mean, heavy blade with the strength we have is pretty much a no-brainer. Okay, so another apotheosis, another panic button. I do think I should try to go for the Highlander modifier. In no pain, do we exhaust anything? Um, no, not not except the panic button. So I don't think we want that. Um, probably don't want flex. A rage wouldn't be a bad idea. We do have a good amount of offensive cards. Um, let's take rage. It is a little expensive, but I think it's fine. And then is there anything? You know what? Yeah, I'll remove probably a basic attack or a basic defend. We picked up one, two, three defense, four defensive cards, and one, two, three, four offensive cards. And a rage counts as defensive. Yeah, let's re remove the defense then. Okay. All right. Fungi beasts. Let's see how we can do against you. Um, so we can fully defend here, actually. Then Scorpion Ring. And then we can actually kill you, and then should be able to kill the backliner next turn. Okay. We got a blood potion, um, which I probably don't really need. Uh, War cry. I mean, we have the um, unseasoned top, so war cry. Actually, blind would be good too. Both of them would be good. I'm just worried over relying on the unseasoned top. Uh, that might fill out the window as soon as I pick up a curse. But for now, let's pick up the blind. Um, all right, here we get backpack or back of preparation. At start of each combat, draw two additional cards. 
Okay, so probably want to upgrade the um, Bash, although I think for the upcoming fight, Rage might be better to gain some block. Rug it off. Or Blind. Uh, actually, no, we don't need Blind upgrade for the, for the upcoming combat. Panic Button is also not that great because he's basically attacking almost every turn except for a few turns he does attack. Let's play it safe and upgrade the Rage. I think long-term Rage is going to be more useful. Upgrade the Rage is good. All right, so uh, let's just... Dash out a bunch of attacks. Mm -hmm. Alright, now we have to defend. 12 incoming here. Um, let's do Rage, Armaments, Good Instincts. We're actually fully defended. Um, if I play an attack... Uh, yeah, I should do that. Oh, forgot about that. That's the top. Here I was uh, trying to prepare. So, the only way to perfect this one is to play the panic button and then hope that we can um, split him next turn. I actually, for that purpose, I will apply vulnerability on the enemy. I might as well throw in a strike. Okay, so now we have to deal 40 damage. We have vulnerability. Um, actually, we should be able to do that, right? Yeah, 34. Um, that should be enough. Unfortunately, I won't be able to play heavy, uh, to play armaments. Or should I just do armaments and then the um, upgraded heavy blade? I think that might be a better idea. Let's do armaments and heavy blade does 43 damage, which is exactly enough. I'll throw in a blind so that next turn will fully or he's weakened at least. All right, another nine. There's good instincts and unfortunately, yep, just got unlucky. Wasn't able to perfect. Oh well, at least we can kill quickly. Yeah, just got a little unlucky with the drop. Not much I can do about that. Okay, we'll be able to deal 50 damage fairly quickly here. Okay. okay. Alright, too bad. Didn't perfect anything this floor. Um, limit break, yeah. No questions about that. Have to take a limit break. Have to upgrade that as soon as we can. Uh, speaking of upgrade, well, now I regret not taking the Apotheosis because then we could have easily taken the Fusion Hammer. Um, probably don't want to do Sneko Eye. Uh, we do have the Unseasoned Top, and we only have the Heavy Blade and Bash as uh, more than one cost card, right? I think I'll take the Fusion Hammer, and I'll look out for uh, an Apotheosis. Fusion Hammer is gain energy to start every turn. Uh, you can no longer smith a Recite. Okay, so one, two Elites. Uh, there's a two Elite Path on the left, which has two question marks and one Recite. We're actually going to try to avoid Recites now. And then one in... You know, there's the path in the middle has a lot of question marks, but only hits one elite total. So we, we either have to go on the left or the right. On the right side, we get one, two, three, four question marks, but also a bunch of rests. Yeah, which is fine. Let's do it. Okay. So let's do rage, armaments, upgrade everything. Yeah, I think with four energy, this is just easier. I mean, with Sneko Eye, it would have been challenging, but... Um, not sure if that would have been such a great idea for our score. Uh, here, let's do good instincts. Thinking bash and heavy blade, just kill the backliner. That kill. It does not. Okay, so then maybe we just save a little bit of HP and kill you and just bash you. Okay. Nineteen incoming. We can do limit breaks. Under all, oh, over my first. Okay. Infernal Blade, Perfected Strike, or Iron Wave. Perfected Strike is not... I guess we have a Twin Strike, but no, I don't think it's going to be useful. Um, I do want to remove more strikes. Infernal Blade might give us something good. Uh, and you know what? I'll take Iron Wave, though. It'll give us both offense and defense. Might be valuable. Okay, none of them are attacking, which means all of them will be attacking next turn. Let's bring the strongest one to the ground. Try to deal some damage here. All right. Ooh, this is a perfect time for Liquid Bronze, I'm thinking. The Ooh, yeah, that's a, that's a lot of incoming. Wow, uh, okay. Uh, let's get you on the ground for sure. Okay, and then, um, yeah, we'll just fully defense. And then, there's Rage. Not that it would have been useful. Uh, another 25 incoming. All right, uh, let's do Armaments Limit Break. See what Swap and Rank hits. Right, shrug it off. And then blind. Okay, we're fully defended here. Yeah, I think we'll keep the liquid bronze for an elite. Bash and heavy blade. Didn't take as much damage as I thought we would. Uh, definitely anger here, right? 
I mean, we have a decent cow. We can just load this uh, deck up with angers. Rupture is not really going to be useful, and let's do an anger before we do deep breath. So rage for some defense. We can do thunderclap, orb boomerang, and heavy blade backliner. Blind? Uh, I mean, yeah, sure. Let's blind you. That way we don't take damage. Nine incoming. Uh, we can kill this guy, right? Right. Forty-seven damage seems doable. Uh, with a bash and um, next turn, we have enough cards to kill, I believe, especially with the enemy. Maybe being vulnerable. Okay. We got another liquid bronze. Uh, I think I'll go with the versus pommel strike. The pommel strike draws us a card, and we do have a good amount of energy, but we don't really need card draw. We have anything on top. Let's do cleave for now. It's also upgraded, which is nice. Uh, no, can't take the apparitions. Then we'll lose the max HP and uh, can't upgrade them, so they'll be somewhat useless. Alright, too bad I can't upgrade the limit break. That's one of the first things we need to upgrade as soon as we get to a rest. Uh, never mind. Can't get to a rest side. I have to remind myself of that. Um, Alright, let's do... Rugged off, see what we get. Okay, I mean, I don't really need rage. Might as well play it. Attack the weakest one here. Okay. Alright, 27 incoming. Uh, Yeah, where's the cleave when you need it? Attack you, good instincts. I don't think I want to do Panic Button here. No, I have I have not really played Panic Button that much this whole uh, fight, but I think it's going to be too dangerous to play. Uh, strike, can we kill here? Yes, we can. Alright. Armaments, another Perfected Strike or Havoc. Um, let's take the Havoc. That's the only card that we sort of need. Not really, but I'll take it, why not? Uh, and then here to get the two elites, we have to stick on the right. Okay, so we could perfect if we get lucky with the um, enemy attack patterns. So let's see. We definitely need to kill one of the kill one of the minions to ensure that the enemy does attack, uh, or does not attack, or is not guaranteed to attack at least. So okay, we can do two strikes, and then a heavy blade, and we should be able to kill this guy easily next turn. And there's a small chance. No, he's attacking uh, quite a lot, too. All right, let's do armaments. That way, at least we can keep the limit break. We do blind, and that's pretty much all we can do. But, uh, yeah, we're going to take a lot of damage here. All right, fine. Not much you can do. Just got a little unlucky with the draw. Anger there, which is nice. It exhausted itself and gave us another copy. Okay. Um, let's do... Leave to kill and then swap them around. Okay, so then we can kill with Iron Wave too. Okay. Is not attacking luckily. We can do another limit break. Yeah, with an upgraded limit break, we're pretty much done. We got Mob Bank. Whenever you climb a floor, gain 12 gold. No longer works when you spend any gold at a shop. And I'll take a skill potion. And we already have uh, Thunderclap. I'll take the headbutt to potentially get the limit break back. Right, and here we heal, even though I don't really want to. Um, curse would ruin our um, unseasoned top, but Wrythe would be in our opening hand, so let's do it. Okay, we also got Toxic Egg. Whenever you add a skill into your deck, upgrade it. That's actually, I think that's worth it. And then, yeah, I'll go for another rest set, even though I don't need it. We got Vasha, so I just come with one strength. That will make the limit break better. And then here, okay, so Flash of Steel would be good. Flex would be good with the um, unseasoned top. Flame, we do have the um, mummified hand, so that might be nice. And the relics are all nice too. Okay, up choice. Let's do. Let's do Flash of Steel. Yeah, I think I should focus on cards. Flash of Steel, Flex, and then in Flame. And uh, sure, I'll take a Wild Strike. All right. Here we heal for no for nothing really. Yeah, I think if I took taking Apotheosis, I could have skipped on the Fusion Hammer. All right, let's do armaments, flex, heavy blade does 54. Um, okay, 54, and then I think I'll defend. All right. Okay. Um, and then here we can do rage. Uh, probably headbutt the um, heavy blade. Should kill next turn, and as much as we can. I'm going to play the strike. Actually, I am going to play strike. Never mind. Zill kill. 
Okay, shrug it off and flames of distant nature. We already have these two, and we don't apply that many debuffs. It's basically just two um, vulnerability applications, right? I guess blind weakness. Mm, it is zero cost. Let's take it. Okay, this might be really tough to perfect, especially with our current deck. We do we have panic button? Let's do armaments first. Heavy blade at 34. I'll drink the liquid bronze. Do I want to keep the skill potion for the final fight? Maybe. Yeah. So let's do good instincts. Okay. Board boomerang. All right, so we can actually kill the front liner. Let's do that. And then, yeah, I'll do panic button. Let's risk it. There's a chance the back liner doesn't attack next turn. Ah, oh, never mind. He's attacking. Uh, well, there's also a small chance we might kill everybody next turn or this turn. That's a very small chance. Of havoc. Okay. Rock good. No, no, I don't think there's a way, right? All right. Well, we maybe we can eat you. We avoided um, a bunch of damage last turn, turn, and instead we're taking damage here, which is fine. It's a it's a trade off I was willing to take. So, right, we'll be able to kill this turn though. Okay. That shovel you can now do core relics at rest side, which is great because that way we have something else to do besides resting. Can't take any of these. Already have copies of them. Elipers says, so every turn lose 15 block rather than all of your block. This is amazing, especially with. Um, the panic button. So now we can actually hang on to some of the block we get through that. Right, and here we'll dig right away. We got Sundial. Every three times you shuffle a drop pile, gain two extra energy. Okay, so I will drink the strength potion. I have a feeling I might need it here. Strike, 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 strike. Regular strikes. Okay, everybody's attacking. Let's do armaments. I should have drank the skill potion first. That was a mistake. Yeah, I could have upgraded the power through. Oh well. Got flex, uh, blind everybody. Okay. And power through. And unfortunately, we are not. Yeah, not able to perfect. We're not. We were close though. Actually, if I upgrade the panic button, it would have been able to perfect. But I don't have high hopes for perfecting the rest. I'm a little hesitant to play havoc because it might play the limit break. But um, I don't really think I have a choice here. Alright, we got a defend out of it, which is fine. Ah, uh, rage. Okay. Right, so it's a shame because I'll lose the limit break if I play it, but I kinda of feel like I have to. Alright. Um, strike, please, block strike. Okay. At this point I have a lot of um, sort of status cards in my hand, meaning the um Actually we can kill here, right? I was overthinking it. Okay. Uh, Master of Strategy, Barricade, or Bludgeon. I mean, Barricade has saved me, or allowed me to perfect a few uh, bosses in the past. Um, but I think we have Caliper, so it's not super necessary. Um, I think Master of Strategy would be better, and let's take it. Um, here, we could take three more Curses. Then it makes the Unseason Top somewhat useless, but I think we're good. That way, we just need one more Curse to... Ooh, there's a second right, though, so we'd have to either remove it or um, transform it. We did get tiny chest up and pick up, gain 30 gold. You are 10% more likely to find charge and crush mark rooms. Shuriken, every time you play three attacks in a single turn, gain one strength. And bird faced earn, whenever you play power card, heal two HP. I just skipped that. I skipped that for no reason. I meant to click it. <sighs> of course I can't go back. Well, let's hope that those two HP won't uh, cause me to die. Alright, two lead paths on the right. Uh, we can get only two question marks, which is fine. And then another three after the second lead. Okay. Shuriken is actually going to be really nice. But yeah, we have to do something about the rights. At least one of them. Okay, let's do Iron Wave. Uh, you. Strike. Defend. Okay. Alright, everybody's attacking. I mean, perfect turn for Panic Button, right? Significant chance we might not get attacked next turn. So let's do it. Still going to take some damage here, right? Yeah. A lot of incoming. Okay, yep, yeah, perfect. We're not getting attacked this turn. Let's do Havoc. There's a Heavy Blade, which unfortunately did get exhausted. And then we can do Anger and Strike. Okay. I'm going to distribute damage somewhat equally, but we can kill the back when whenever we have to. Alright, do I want Master of Strategy? I mean, sure, why not? Okay, we can do Flash of... You know what? Let's do Inflame first. Okay. Then Flash of Steel. Flex, very nice. And then a sport going for a lot of damage. Um, 
and I think that's it in terms of damage, right? Let me weaken you because we should be able to kill you. And then I can headbutt a uh, heavy. No, I played that. Let's just headbutt the twin strike or sword and right. No. Actually, this kills already. All right, we got a weakness potion. Um, another anger. No, we should take palm strike. I do want to try to hang on to the highland modifier, even though. I don't think we had a shop on this path, so hopefully one of the question marks will be a shop, otherwise we'll end up with two rides. I don't really want to lose any of these, but maybe Inflame is not that useful. It is the only power we have, pretty much. I do like good instincts. Let's let's lose the Pommel Strike Flame. Alright, here we got Potion Belt and Pick Up, gain two potion slots. Nice. Yeah, I took the right path, right? Yes. No? Yes, no, I did. Okay. Alright, so let's do Flame, Limit Break, Blind. Yeah, I think our deck, maybe it was a mistake to pick up purchase because uh, we're not going to be able to use the Unseasoned Top as much as I would like. Let's do uh, Shrug It Off first, then Armaments to upgrade whatever we get. Actually, this might be not a bad turn for Panic Button because I'm um, going first put something good back like... Um, uh, like Cleave, sure. Uh, because it will actually hang on to most of that block. Thanks to Calipers. Alright, yeah, we're fully defended here, which is nice. Perfect. Okay, Metal says Dramatic Entrance would be pretty good damage at the beginning, especially with all the strength we have. Alright, so let's do um, Flash of Steel first, then Shrug it off. Um, I'm not happy about the pain in our hand, but there's some damage here. Okay. Right, eight incoming, we can do armaments, and then, um, oh right, we're weakened. I was going to say, I thought Heavy Blade would deal more damage. Let's just do a regular strike and Heavy Blade. Right, let's Iron Wave, Strike, but probably the Twin Strike back. No, let's take Heavy Blade. Now we have enough strength that it might actually be relatively useful. Okay, 22 incoming, let's do Master of Strategy. Rage, Limit Break, Find. Okay, so Havoc is going to play one of these. Yeah, sure, let's see what we get played. Alright, so this is Nature, and then I think we'll do Heavy Blade 5 damage. Okay. Alright, um, yeah, just play everything here. Including the Panic Button, because that will give us 30 block for the, or 15 block to turn after. I should have played that strike, that was a mistake. Hopefully it won't bother us too much. Yep. Okay, um, another short boomerang, another anger. I mean, if we're not going for the Highland modifier, maybe I'll do that. Because that would be good damage. But no, no, I think I'll, I'll I'll try to risk it. Try to go for the Highland modifier. We got Whetstone open. Pick up, upgrade two random attacks. Very good. Flash of Steel and Wild Strike got upgraded. And head. Yeah, if we don't have any defensive cards, there's no way for us to come back, right? No, not much we can do about that. Okay. Um, do I want to throw a weakness potion? Um, yeah, sure. I mean, it'll save us some, some HP. Why not? Okay, another 12. Um, here, I think we'll do Rune Slings, Deflect, Iron Wave, and Bash at the end. Okay. Um, let's play the defensive cards first. Okay. Then we'll do Strike, Flash of Steel. Should have done Flash of Steel first. Okay, what should I put back? I mean, Flash of Steel is probably a good choice. Okay. Another 16. We can do Sadistic Nature. Flash of Steel. To see what we draw. Okay, and then Panic Button. Next turn we're getting a big attack though, right? Um, let's do... Um, yeah, just play everything here. We're for 46. Okay. Rage. Uh, I guess Rage would have given us defense, right? Okay, so this is where we actually hang on to some of it, like four. Yep. 33 incoming. This might be rough. At least we can upgrade the limit break, so that's that's good. Um, I'll actually drink the blood potions because I'm a little worried. Especially since we're also weak in next turn. Although we do have 18 strength. That's uh, got to account for something, right? Thunderclap. Extra strategy. Okay, this does 28 times 3. I would also like to do more than 100 damage. So right now this is at um, 84. 84. So let's do Rage. Okay, Havoc plays 
shrug it off, alright. And then Sword Boomerang does 35, yeah, that's more than 100 damage. And Twin Strike will kill. Okay, we got Ancient T said, whenever you enter a rest site, so our next call with two extra energy, as well as a fire potion, and, uh, I mean, Lash would be great if we if I didn't pick up cur curses. I'm seriously considering... If I won't be able to remove the Wraith, it was definitely a mistake to pick up curses, because, um, that way we, um, lost our Highlander modifier instead. May not even get the Cursor modifier if we don't get... I guess we still have three question marks upcoming. Maybe, maybe it'll work out. Alright, so let's do Bash, Flash of Steel, Dramatic Entrance... And then we can actually kill. Alright. Then I'll do head. Oh, well, um, let's do Iron Wave first and then probably headbutt the Flash of Steel action. Alright. Um, yeah, good thing I have some card draw here. Let's do Flash of Steel first. Rage, very nice. Go Boomerang. Strike. Strike to kill. Let's see what we get. Havoc. Okay, that place of flex. Just Fortune was a little wasted. Um, sadistic nature, master of strategy. Frog it off. Okay, there's a limit break. Very nice. Heavy blade has six kills any of them. Um, let's actually, and twin strike kills the other one, right? Okay. We got snake oil here. I mean, demon form take forever to to work. Now nah, I think we should go with finesse. Another zero cost card. Alright, you've got Lantern, so I just come up with additional energy. I don't really think we have an energy problem in our opening turn, especially since two of our seven cards are uh, curses. Uh, here we could potentially defend ourselves fully with the panic button. I mean, let's try. Okay. There's a significant chance it won't attack us next turn. And yeah, perfect. Panic button to the rescue. Play Havoc. Uh, it's Rage. Yeah, not super happy about getting that exhausted. Right, another 27. That's the master of strategy. Okay, so let's see. We can do flex. What do I want to do in flame? I think I do. Thunderclap, strike, sword boomerang for a lot of damage, but unfortunately not enough to kill, right? You know what? Let me try the snake oil. Wow, look at that luck. Look at that luck. I was even going to use a fire potion, but now I don't have to. That was really lucky. Finally perfecting the lead. We also got Strawberry. I can pick up Razor Max Speed by 7. Very nice. Uh, Liquid Bronze and... Uh, do I want Shockwave? We have the timing at the end, so... Well, we have already these cards. Uh, yeah, fine. We do generally have an excess of energy, so I'm okay with the slightly high cost card. Okay. This one might be a little rough. Uh, we have to play a little carefully here. Let's do Blind... You, and we're gonna try to attack the weaker one. The dramatic entrance, strike, and heavy blade. Well, it's just a basic defend. Um, okay. Right. So even more incoming. There's a panic button, which um, I'll do now just to save ourselves. Um, yeah, and then next turn I should be able to um, kill the frontliner. Okay. Actually, no, we're not losing any. Alright, so there's a distant nature of finesse. Um, Master of Strategy, very nice. Okay, Thunderclap kills the front line already. And then we should be able to, yeah, perfect. Any button helping us out again. We got Chance Ashes. When you exhaust the card, deal three damage to all enemies. As well as, I mean, we have a good amount of vulnerability on the enemy for dropping. Wouldn't be a bad idea. Let's take it. Okay, we got Runic Duty Cleaver. If you HP is full, gain energy to start return. Probably rarely gonna happen. Oh, okay, good. A shop. I think first thing I want to remove the. Uh, wait, there's no way I can get another curse, right? Well, there's no way I can get another unique curse because I have. The no, wait. I don't have a parasite. There's a very small chance, but no. Let's just get rid of a right. I think that'll make things easier. Okay. In terms of relics, we have five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-three. So if I buy two relics, that'll give us enough. I actually don't have enough gold for two relics. Alright, well, so I'm not buying two relics. Uh, let's take True Grit. I mean, seeing red uh, maybe would be great if I didn't have curses. Um, let's take... I mean, might as well, right? Take Panache. Actually, we could also just do the potion. So let's do Energy Potion, Gambler's Brew, and I mean, sure, I'll do Flex Potion. And then I think Trip is fine. 
Okay. Alright, yeah, so we weren't able to get five person in this um, game, regardless of what we did, really. Alright, let me first. Uh, well, let's do Rage and Clash of Steel, see what we draw. Okay, I think I'll do Armin's Havoc to play Wild Strike, alright. Then Dramatic Entrance to the Panic Button. Panic Button will uh, allow us to hang on to a bunch of blocks the next turn, which is nice. Okay. Ness for card draw, and then just attacks. Okay, can we kill this turn? Doesn't look like it. Let's trigger the Doubt out. Okay, defend and strike. I... that was a mistake. I had... I could have even killed that turn. I wasn't paying a little more attention. Um... Clash of Steel back. Blind. Yeah, I think... Um... I mean, I'll throw a Fire Potion here. The other option was to reload, because I'm pretty sure I would have killed, but it's fine, it's fine. Uh, Jackal of Trades, I mean, it's, it's okay. I'll take it, sure. Okay, I actually am afraid I might have to rest here. Uh, my HP is a little lower than I'm comfortable with. Um... Yeah, I guess I could have taken a relic from the shop and then dug here another relic to get 25 extra points, but I think it's safer to have some HP, especially for this fight. Got unlucky with the draw, there's just not much we can do. Alright, so let's do armaments. Okay, double defend. Uh, that's pretty much it in terms of defense, right? Okay, we can do Iron Wave. Oh, I should have done Thunder Thundercloud first. Leave, Anger. And, uh, I mean, I'll keep the dramatic engines for next turn, just so that I can, um, what do you call it, uh, I can play four cards next turn. Alright, we good instincts, shred it off. Okay, there's, well, no, two more cards, just strike and heavy blade. Okay. 46 incoming. Yeah, I'm not super happy about this, um... Let me use the Gamble Screw. Okay, so there's at least Rage for some defense. Right? I have to get it against the top again. Um, okay, Flash of Steel. Just the nature Havoc. Uh, that was... What was that multi hit? Um, that was my sword point. It was my sword point. Alright, great. Well, there was our... Very strong attack. Okay. Three cards this turn and a lot of incoming. Ooh, that's a lot of incoming. I mean, not much I can do, right? I am going to try one more time just because I think um, I allowed myself mistakes. There's like no salvation here, right? Yeah. So I'll try one more time, but, but I think this one is pretty much, this run is pretty much doomed. But I'll try one more time. I'll be right back. All right, so uh, I think I'm back with a winning blow. Uh, I wasn't able to perfect, obviously, but at least I was able to survive and kill. Um, I think I made some... Uh, well, it was hard to say. I guess I guess this is considered cheating. This is not a real score because my final fight, I was only able to survive by um, knowing what the enemy is doing. And I think my score is reflecting that appropriately. Yeah, 907. That's really, really low. We got the Highlander modifier. We, um, out of these six elites, only killed one. And we didn't perfect any bosses. That was a really, really bad run. At least we got high light speed. And also 907. That's that's even the good case scenario, assuming we uh, beat the last boss, which was definitely not the case. Um, okay, so we do have definitely enough people breaking the thousand barrier. So I think the right way to do it was to really stack up on um, for a bunch of angers, uh, not pick up any curses, and um, yeah, try that approach. So anyway, um, I'll try that next time. Thanks for watching. Bye.